Good afternoon everybody. I have DB Designer Fork here on my screen and I'd like to show you a few tricks that you can use to make sure your um, schemas are really easy to understand and uh, will be able to be exported uh, quite easily as well. So I'd like to start by just dropping a few tables onto the workspace here and I'll name this one employee and as soon as I enter employee and hit enter what happens is this tool automatically creates a primary key just puts the letters I and D right before the name of the entity you can change that and hit enter and as soon as you do that it assumes you're entering the primary key so it chooses integer not null and auto increment so now we don't have to worry about that anymore first name which is usually maybe a varchar and last name we'll also put varchar I'm not going to put too many attributes here just for the sake of time and let's see where was it here it is and click OK and we'll make another entity and let's call this uh, children Okay. and it'll automatically create my primary key for this table since every table should have a primary key. I'm not going to place my foreign key here yet because DB Designer Fork will automatically create my foreign key for me. So I'll put first name again and last name. I don't know anybody with a first name or last name that's 45 characters long, but just in case, it'll be there. Now, I know that I need a foreign key between employee and children. In fact, I probably want to keep this lowercase. Okay. And I'll select the one to n non identifying relation. So click that, then I'll click my parent table, I'll click my child table, and it'll create the relation. Now, I don't want these indices to show up. I don't want to see the name of this relation show up right here. And this diamond isn't very helpful. Um, it is a certain type of notation, but the notation I've been using in class is the crow's foot notation. So I want to come up to display, click uh, go into notation, and change it to crow's foot. And that's something that should be recognizable for my students, which I've been showing in class. Also, the names of the relations I can, uh, or the relationship lines, I can get rid of as well. So display and then display relation names. So I'm going to uncheck that as well. I also need to uncheck table indices. That way it's a little cleaner here. You'll also notice when I clicked the <coughs> excuse me non-identifying one to n relationship, it automatically created this foreign key for me. Um, another thing that you may notice is this employee underscore eid. So by default, DB Designer Fork places the entity name in front of the primary key. But what if I don't want that? I just want it to read eid. I need to go into Options, Model Options, and there's a setting here under Editing Option. It says Add Source Table Name to Foreign Key Columns Names. I want to uncheck this one. Okay. And then I will change this to NODB. And click OK. So now, in order to fix this, I really need to delete this relationship line and recreate the relationship. Now notice I only have EID. Okay, that'll shorten the names of the attributes which will come in real handy later on when you're running your queries. After you instantiate the database or physically create the database, uh, you're not going to want to type in very long attribute names or field names when you're typing in your queries. So keep them short, keep them very straightforward. Within the entity editor, table editor, 
there's a comment field way over here that you can type in any metadata. So FN, that's first name, not function. Okay, last LN, that's the last name. Whoops. Last name. And city, I think that's pretty obvious, so I'm not going to put any comment in and click OK. Now, the meta metadata over here is just for you and me. The database doesn't care about this at all. Okay, file save. And I'll just save this on my desktop for now. Rich schema. Okay, so that is all for, for now. The next In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to export this and then physically create the database using MySQL. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.